Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Ron, formerly of kayak fishing in Florida, and I changed it when I moved to Texas to kayaking for fishy tails. Uh, just wanted to do a short video and go over what I'm doing with my uh, Hopi PA-14 2020. Um, for some years now, I've been working with a buddy of mine, and we've been doing trolling motors on our on our kayaks, and uh, that was on my older PA, 2016 PA-14. And uh, first thing I started off with is a plate like this. And I mount it with two of uh, Hobie's uh, flat pads, like I have a cinch on. And um, that worked okay. It uh, gave us some experience and uh, it just didn't steer steer right so I quickly dropped that and uh, started doing some research and some guys were putting them on the back of the kayak and uh, nobody was there were actually companies that were making them for the back of some of the kayaks so, and uh, I couldn't find anybody that was doing it for for the Hobie so uh, I ordered in some marine board and my I made my own it used the existing holes and it went all the way around and uh, I mounted the power pole off to off to one side and the trolling motor in the center and we used tiller steering to go up front and uh, speed control we went to a, a power control module <clears throat> and uh, wired it in where we could do infinite, infinite uh, uh, speeds that worked out really good I used that for quite a while and then when I bought this one, which is a 2020, I stopped using it, just did the power pole plate in the power pole, and I started looking into what I could do up front here to have a front mounted uh, trolling motor. I had to remember seeing in one of the catalogs that the Hobie PA-17 had a trolling motor mount that was in the catalog. And uh, so I started looking at that. And uh, back in my earlier earlier periods, I had looked at it and saw that it had a statement. I thought it had a statement that uh, said if you sold on a PA-12 or a PA-14, it wouldn't be uh, your haul wouldn't be warranty. Well, I went along with that, and uh, still nobody was making anything for the front of the kayak, which with the iPilots that are coming out now and the co-pilots, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to stand up. I love to stand up. Uh, I wanted to be able to stand up and just move down the grass line parallel to it or whichever way or just hold the spot. So that really, really got me started. So I couldn't figure out why that would be a problem. I did, I did so many YouTube searches to find somebody that had done anything on the PA-14 for a front mounted trailer or trailer motor, but uh, there was very, very little. And uh, so I got with my Hobie dealer here in, in uh, Texas um, a couple, uh, two or three months back and asked him if he knew about it. And he said he'd never heard that it wouldn't be covered under warranty and or dis, disembowel your, your warranty. So I asked him if he could check and he did. It took him a little while to get an answer, but he checked with Hobie and evidently as long as you don't do a, a major major uh, alteration to the hull, it should be just fine. And I gotta tell you, this thing is strong. Um, I'll show you, you have to, uh, it comes with a nut and bolt to uh, get it over here on the edge, toward the back, right there. And I decided to use two screws and I went in underneath the uh, rod holder in there. I believe I had to take one loose, this side loose. And uh, I got a half inch piece of uh, my marine board, which I was doing a lot with marine board, and cut me a piece that was, uh, it was half inch thick, but it was uh, an inch wide and four inches long. And that went up underneath and it's, it's sitting right about in here. So, uh, this thing is this thing is strong. So, uh, started looking at them 
online at uh, at Amazon and uh, I was still in the middle of selling the house in Florida so I didn't want to do too much at the moment in case I needed needed some of my money so uh, I got everything done I'm out here in Texas I bought a new house so I can do more fishing and uh, I went ahead and last week placed an order with uh, Minn Kota's uh, factory outlet website I've got the 55 pound Riptide coming. They'll be shipped. It was uh, this week, but they've moved it to April the second. So I'll get that the second week of April or so. I also ordered the 15-foot uh, power cord. Uh, I think that was like forty dollars, much better than what we've been using before. It was like house wires, stiff. And I ordered the quick release plate to go up on the front. Uh, those two items power cord and the quick release have been shipped. I also ordered from Amazon the Marinko male female plug for the front and for the other side over here for connecting to the to the battery back here. I've got a 35 amp hour battery from uh, Batteries Plus and I'm going to try that out first and just see how long that lasts. Um, for the time being I may go with another one of those and, and uh, wire where I've got 70 amp hours and that should be more than enough according to uh, some of the stuff I've written uh, written excuse me I didn't write it uh, read so um, here we go I uh, kind of do some videos as I move along on, on this project but it's starting to come to fruition and uh, I'm very very happy so thank you very much for watching and uh, please do a like and a, and a subscribe I'm doing all this for fun. I have no no ambition to make money off of this at all. I just uh, enjoy it and I enjoy learning how to do the editing. So I'll get better. I'll get better. I've learned a lot since I've last posted uh, last summer. So bear with me. Thank you. Bye.